The following is an unscientific study based on unfounded claims over which product is best to clean your game cartridges. Use the tips in this video at your own discretion. Hey guys, this is Dow Phoenix, and this is a good old cartridge cleaning scenario here. I bought a lot of N64 games here. Uh, this cartridge right here was part of it. It's WrestleMania 2000 for the Nintendo 64, which is one of my favorite N64 games, at least nostalgia-wise. I don't know how well it would play out today compared to like other wrestling games, but it's an awesome and fantastic wrestling game on the N64. I think that much can be said at least. Unfortunately, there is a problem. The uh, other eight cartridges that I bought, they worked. This one doesn't. And that's a serious problem. Now, normally, I just give it a good old isopropyl alcohol. That usually does a trick uh, most of the time. But unfortunately, that's not going to do the trick for us today. Um, it's already been done a couple of times. I already gave it a couple of run-throughs. And the N64 isn't even reading the game at all. So there lies the problem. This won't fix it. So, we're going to try a couple of other alternatives and see what works best. First of all, we've got Brasso right there. Brasso is a uh, very disputed product as far as the gaming community as to well, how well it works. But this is a product that does help any kind of metals uh, to polish them and clean them. So it is one that should work for us. Now the other one might come to surprise for some, but this is one that I've recently learned works really well, and that is baking soda. Baking soda should be able to break down any kind of corrosion that may appear on the cartridge. Now, obviously, baking soda being a dry substance, it means we need to wet it a little bit, so I do have a little cup of water. I know water is technically really bad for contacts, but if we use just a little bit in conjunction with the baking soda and we dry it properly, it shouldn't be of any harm. So the question is, one, do these products work? Do they actually clean the cartridges enough to where you can play them? And two, which works better? We're about to find out. So the first step, as you might guess, is to open up the cartridge. Uh, since we're doing this path and we're not going to be doing just a standard alcohol cleaning, it's a good idea to open the cartridge. You need a 3.8 millimeter star bit uh, to open up N64 cartridges. I was able to buy a set of this as well as the 4.3 millimeter, which is another one Nintendo games often use. Uh, more often the consoles and the games. I was order, able to order a set of both of those for under 8 bucks on eBay. Free shipping. So it's not too hard to get that. And I got a nice driver set. Don't have to use a bit or anything like that. So we have both screws completely removed from the cartridge. Now we can separate it from the casing here. See this right here? It's got a little bit of a latch. You kind of got to lift it up just a little bit to separate it. And then it should pop right off. It should, I say. <laughs> there we go. I'm so I got one in loose here. The other end just being a little bit of a hassle. Let's not break it. There we go. So, now we've got to use a small Phillips bit to open up that. So let me go ahead and get that real quick. And after much digging around, I happened to find something that should suit us just fine. So we've got the original screws out. Now we have to remove these right here that hold the uh, heat shield, I guess, in place or whatever this is supposed to be. Okay, definitely a lot different from an NES card. That's what I'm used to opening up as a Nintendo cartridge. It's actually the first N64 game I've ever had to open up because these games seem like they hold up a lot better than NES cartridges, but I guess clearly they're still prone to damage. So this right here, let me just see if I'm missing anything here. Should just lift right up. Okay. Alright, so there's the ROM board right there. Comes out right nice and easy. 
let's go ahead and take a nice look at it here because it looks like there's definitely some problems so unfortunately I can't really zoom in any further with the current camera lens I've got here but uh, as you can see the pins have seen much better days uh, there's definitely some evidence of corrosion there as we can see there so uh, I'm not sure what exactly happened there I guess a notch or something Eh, whatever it's not important we can always fit it back later <laughs> so uh, let's focus on the cleaning action shall we so first we're gonna use the Brasso on this product right here just like you see this stuff is kind of a little bit of goopy stuff you know it's not uh, completely liquidous it does have a little bit of a solid edge to it. So you just gotta use just a tiny bit. Get that on the Q-tip itself. There we go. You can see we got it right there. And we'll clean this half of the board with it. So let's go ahead and rub it in there nice and well. And now we're just gonna go ahead and fast forward because you don't need to see me do this for a minute or two. So, as you can see, the Brasso does leave a little bit of a film uh, to it there. It might be hard to tell from there. So, what I usually like to do once I use Brasso is just give it a cleaning with the uh, rubbing alcohol. Uh, get that cleaned up. Nice. I'm not sure if this was the side I did the Brasso on or not, but I'm just going to do the whole thing just to be sure. Yeah, that should do the trick. And we'll just do the other end the same way. Get it nice and cleaned up. So this end, I know for sure we did the Brasso on because I could tell by where we did it. Yeah, you can tell because this is the part that doesn't have any kind of corrosion. Same with here. Okay, so that's the Brasso. Now, what about the baking soda? Let's go ahead and pop it open here. Open here, as it says. I don't know if you can see that. <laughs> Okay. Oh shit. Spill a little bit. Okay, it's just baking soda. It's not gonna hurt anything. Okay. So we're just gonna put a little bit in this container here. Alright. Just a little splash of water. Okay. And then we're just gonna stir it up nice. Uh, it's a little watery, it's a little too watery, so we're going to add some more baking soda. Make it a little bit thicker of a solution. Just add one last little touch of it. The baking soda is really uh, not doing a very good job absorbing into this, but okay, now it's, now it's thickening it up quite nicely. Should be plenty good, I'd say. Okay, yeah. See, now it's got a pretty good thickness to it. But it's going to be plenty spreadable, so we have nothing to worry about there. Okay, so let's go ahead and give it a good clean. This is the part we did Brasso on. So we'll do the uh, baking soda stuff on the other part here. Wow, that's thick. That is thick. Okay, let's get that rubbed in nice and fine there. And that will speed up the footage. You can see the baking soda, it kind of dries up pretty quickly. But this should do the trick for us here. Yeah, it kind of clumps, as you can see there. So, just like we did with the Brasso, we'll do a little bit of a rubbing alcohol or not rubbing alcohol isopropyl alcohol you don't want to use rubbing alcohol and uh, we'll just uh, go over it once again yeah on that side for some reason didn't clump up quite as much I don't know if maybe that was just a uh, not as concentrated part of the batch maybe I didn't stir it good enough or something I'm not sure now we're gonna go ahead and uh, wipe the cartridge pins down just wipe them down really good 
So let's just uh, take a quick look at it here. Okay. I decided to pick it up. We're going to focus the camera on it. Let the light reflect on it. See what you guys think looks best between the sides here. This is the uh, brass side. This is the baking soda side. Uh, they look about the same overall. Um, kind of tough to say because of the fact that uh, the damage on each individual side could have been slightly different. So now the fun part begins. Does the game work? And here it is. The moment of truth, people. We have the game. Let's pop it in and find out if it works. Ah, not good. Not good. This one could be a bad one, people. Or it could be the 64 too. I don't know. Uh, let's just make sure it's not the 64. Here's a much nicer WrestleMania 2000. So let's check it out. Okay. So this one comes right up. And try this one one last time. The pins actually look pretty decent on this one. But... It looks like corrosion might already be a problem. It may be unsalvageable. Yeah. Guess the last thing we could do is try it with the chip and see if that works. No. I guess this one's a dud, but we tried our best, people. We tried our best. But, again, the comparison was just as to what you thought was cleaner. So let's go ahead and refocus the camera here. So again, this was the uh, Brasso side, and this was the baking soda side. I think the Brasso probably wins out. The baking soda still did some corrosion removal, but the Brasso does seem like it works better overall. So that's probably what I'll stick with for now. Unless I get desperate, then I'll try the baking soda. Hey guys, so just a little off-camera stuff. I tried the Brasso fully with this thing. Still won't work. This game will just not work. Tell you what, though, if you want to give it a shot on your own, you can hit me up. I'll mail it to you if you want to take a shot at cleaning it yourself and get it to work. And if you get to work, you can keep it or do whatever. Nothing... No skin off my back, people. Just uh, post in the comments if you're interested in this, and I'll choose from whoever is. But till then, down Phoenix out.